How's it going everyone? My name is Multinecroman and today I'm going to show you how you can improve your FPS in League of Legends. So without further ado, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a restore point in case you want to revert back to this exact same moment in time where no tweaks were applied to your PC. So simply type in your search bar restore point and click it. Now click create and type any name you want for this restore point and then hit create again. Next we're going to configure our Nvidia graphics settings to get the best results in League of Legends and mostly any game. But before we do that, let's make sure our last Nvidia driver is installed by simply going to this Nvidia button in the taskbar click on nvidia experience then go to drivers and here make sure to download and install the last driver now to adjust the settings just right click on your desktop then show more now click on nvidia control panel now here we're going to go adjust image settings with preview and make sure the middle option is selected and then just simply click on take me there in this section image sharpening is off mostly all six necks are off then low latency mode on ultra max frame rate is off open gl on auto power management mode on maximum performance texture filtering on allow texture filtering quality i keep it on high but if you want to get the most out of it you can have it on high performance but keep in mind the game will look 10 times worse thread optimization on auto triple buffering and vsync on off and this at the bottom don't really matter and that's pretty much it with these settings now for some extra settings for nvidia there's a link in the description if you want to download it and follow along once you've downloaded the file simply extract the files into a folder and then open nvidia profile inspector once it's opened up, change the G-Sync settings to disabled, maximum pre-rendered frames should be 1, and then here select highest refresh rate, ultra low latency on ultra, and on vertical sync make sure to force it off since we're not going to use it, and uh, now if we scroll down to anti-aliasing, make sure gamma and MFAA are both off, and texture filtering, make sure filtering is off linear. Once all of that is done, click apply at the top right of the screen and close it out. Next is our CPU and to get the most out of it, we need to unbark it. And to do so, just go into the description and there you'll find a link directing you to the coder back site. Here, just simply scroll down and click to download application and save the file on your PC. Now just extract it and open the app. Make sure the core parking index is at 100%, then click on park, then apply and that's all done here. Moving on to the next step, we are going to disable unwanted services that run in the background and eat up resources. To do that, just simply type in the search bar services and make sure you have them sorted by name. And I have a list with some of the processes that should be disabled. So we are going to start with Bluetooth. Disable all of these. Connected user experience and telemetry, disable this as well. Diag blocking service, fax, Microsoft diagnostic hub standard, Microsoft app V client, Microsoft keyboard filter, net TCP, open SSH, Prince Puller, quality windows audio video experience, Realtek audio and universal service, remote registry, retail demo service, routing and remote access, shared PC account manager, Steam client service, user experience virtualization service, Windows search, workstation, Xbox services. Now to clean up our Windows startup as well, just open up Task Manager by right-clicking the taskbar and select Task Manager. Once you're here, go to the startup and disable all the programs in here besides your antivirus, since you can manually start all of these applications if you want them running. Next, we're going to change some network settings to ensure we're always having a stable connection. So in the taskbar, just go to the network icon, right-click it and select Network and Internet Settings. Then go to Advanced. Now once you're here, select Ethernet and where you see more adapter settings, just click edit and in here we're going to disable the following, file and printer sharing, QoS packet scheduler, Microsoft LLDP and these last two. Then we're going to select the Internet Protocol version 4 and hit properties and set your DNS to 1111 and on the down row you should have 1001, then hit OK. Now click on configure and advanced then disable the following adapted interframe should be disabled ARP offload low control gigabyte slave mode interrupt moderation jumbo packet LSO 4 and 6 NS offload packet priority VLAN receive side scaling TCP 4 and 6 UDP 4 and 6 
Next we're going to check if your PCs are in good health and the way we do that is by opening CMD and running it as administrator and then we're going to type in this line and hit enter and then wait for it and what it does is, is running a scan to check for corrupted files and whatever on your PC and if it finds anything it also fixes them. And after you've done here, don't close it up just yet, but instead type the next line. Both of these are in the description, by the way, and run that really quick. After that, we can close it out. Next, just type in the search bar game mode. Make sure it's running and it's enabled. Then click on the graphic settings and find League of Legends. And make sure it's running on the correct graphics card. Next up, we're going to privacy and security, and we're going to disable a bunch of useless Windows features such as ink and typing, disable that. Diagnostics and feedback, disable that as well. Now select general and make sure you disable everything in here. Then we will go to search permissions and we're going to disable this as well. Scroll down a bit more to notification and let's quickly disable those as well. And lastly, we'll go to Windows Update and make sure all of these settings inside are turned off. And then on delivery optimization, we are going to disable that too. Now that all of that is done, we need a cleaner to clean up the messy files left on your PC or broken registries. And to do that, I use CC Cleaner for over a decade and it always does the job perfectly. You have a link in the description if you want to use it. Once it's installed, just open up the program and let's do a quick health check and make sure you empty everything in here so it's all nice and clean. Then we will go to registry and we want to have a scan here as well and then just select everything inside and delete it. And now the last settings we're going to do, open up the search bar again and just type adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And then if you want the maximum performance here, here, just select best performance and then just select these two settings and then apply and OK. OK, so now we're basically done with all of the Windows tweaks. Your PC should be at max performance. So let's do the same for League. First thing we're going to do is open up your Explorer and then go to the local DC. Then write games, League of Legends, game. And here we're going to right click League of Legends and go to properties. Then we're going to go to compatibility tab. And we're going to make sure disable full screen optimizations is ticked. Then we can close out of this and boot up League. Once you're in the client, log in and after that, click this setting tool in the top right corner. From here, the first thing we're going to check, no matter what PC you have, is enable low spec mode. It gets rid of the laggy animations in the client and it makes it more responsive. Then we're going to change close client during the game to always if you haven't already. Then scroll down to game and here if you have an older PC, make sure to check DX9 legacy mode since it might provide better FPS for your PC, but if you have a new high-end PC, you should not enable that. With that being said, let's jump into a game and change in-game settings as well. Alright, so now that you are in the game, what you want to do is press escape on your keyboard so the settings will show up. Now what you want to do is set your resolution to the one with the star next to it. That's your basically the best resolution you can have. And if you have a lower NPC and you really struggle to having a lot of FPS, make sure you go and downscale it a bit. Go, let's say 1080 in my in my case or 600 by 900 would be a good option as well if you want to improve some frames. Now on the window mode, we're going to select full screen since it's the best and it will only give us more frames. Now to the colorblind mode, this is optional you can keep it or not hide eye candy i highly recommend having this enabled enable screen shake you should disable this as well and now to the graphics what you want to do this is my main setup this is what i currently use and what i like to see on league but if you want to improve more on frames what i would recommend you to do is to have these settings they will give you the maximum performance and you'll have the best visual quality at the same time but obviously, if you want to increase them even more and have the best, best performance, you could go to the very low settings or to the even low. Next, on advanced frame rate cap should be set to your monitor refresh rate. And to do so, all you got to do is to go into your desktop, right click it and go to display settings. And here, go to advanced, scroll down a bit, and then you'll see this. This is where you change your hertz, your monitor hertz. And if you have like 60 selected, make sure you select the highest number you have 
either it is 120 144 it doesn't matter select the highest number in here and you should be good and now back to league what we should do to this frame cap we should select the exact same number we have for our frames but if you have a 75 hertz monitor in my case i have one what i, I suggest you to do is to cap it at 120 because it feels a, a lot better than having it at 80 for example for some reason i really don't know maybe it's personal preference but that's my case for anti aliasing you should disable this as it lowers your performance vertical sync should not be enabled and on the color levels and everything you could go crazy it does not matter now the next settings you're gonna change is interface and what you're gonna have unticked here is enable hard animation and health bar animations both of these give a bit of lag so make sure you uncheck those and now the last setting we're gonna do in league is we're gonna disable enable smooth camera and that's pretty much it for league just click ok and you're good to go well that was all for me today guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you fixed your fps issues with league of legends and thank you so much for watching i will see you next time with another video